I would train your readers to expect a post at a certain time. You can you can say I'm going to post every day or every other day, um, but just be sure that you can actually follow through with it. Every day, according to research firm Social Bakers, is what most top brands do once per day, but they also say that twice per day sees a drop off in engagement. You can also schedule posts in advance, and this is pretty simple. Once you've posted something in the lower left hand corner of the post, you'll see a little clock, and you can click that and choose when and what time you want your post to show up. Again, be sure to use Facebook Insights to figure out when your fans' peak times are and schedule posts for those times. But it all depends on how dedicated you're going to be to updating your, your Facebook page. You, of course, want to make sure that whatever you're putting there has some value for your readers. So I would use a mix of video, audio, text, and then use a program called Buffer and see which gets the highest number of clicks so you can then focus on the best one. And this is at BufferApp.com, B-U-F-F-E-R, app, A-P-P, dot com. Another way of gaining exposure to a wide variety of potential contacts is to join groups that are related to your product. This allows you to cross-reference your business and mass post to everyone in the group. Now when you're posting either to Facebook groups or just a post on your own page, you're going to want to use images. Images are going to increase the number of people that click on your site. And there's a great program that you can use to automatically post with images so you don't have to go around and collect all the ones you want. I'm going to send you over to a YouTube video to let uh, Jay Westman explain this a little bit more. But uh, this is a really cool program. It's FP Traffic. $10 a month, but it collects images from all over the web and posts for you automatically. So if you have a page that's dedicated to a certain niche and you don't want to spend the time to collect all these images and then schedule them all out, FB Traffic will do that for you. Now I don't want to sound contradictory because in a second I'm going to talk about open graph meta tags and carefully selecting your images. But what FP Traffic does is it makes the collection process a lot easier. But you'll see uh, more about what I'm talking about in the, in the video. It, uh, Jay explains it really well. When you do use images, you want to carefully select the photos that you want to represent your material and make sure Facebook doesn't just choose any photos at random. Their photos could get cropped or just be too boring to get people to click on your stuff. You want to set a size optimized image that represents your content well. And you can see what the optimal dimensions are for a home page, or at least part of the home page on the screenshot here. The rest of the optimal dimensions, and there's a lot of them, can be found on a link in the resources from John Loomer Digital, uh, labeled Optimal Dimensions. Up until about July 2013, Facebook had only given you the option of three pictures that it would choose itself for your posts. So when you included a link in one of your posts, you could scroll through the three that they chose, but sometimes they were really bad and they weren't going to grab a whole lot of attention. And so they had something called the Open Graph Protocol, which was a way to choose the image that you wanted. But unless you were pretty tech savvy, it was going to be pretty difficult to do. There was also something called the Open Graph Protocol plugin that you could use for WordPress based blogs and websites that would allow you to choose the image. But now uh, Facebook allows you to upload whatever image that you want for your pictures. So if you post a link in there, normally it gives you the three options and you can scroll right or left and it'll pick pictures from inside of your post. But you can also go down to the upload image button at the bottom and then upload something from your computer that is a little more appropriate. So this article here, it says uh, handcuff no more. So they're taking some images within the post, but obviously you're going to get more clicks if you put some handcuffs with spikes. And then you can also change the headline to whatever you want in case the title of the article or whatever it is you're posting isn't very good. And then you can actually do the same thing for the description underneath. You just have to click on it, write your description, and then you click post. 
And of course, you can schedule it out to whenever you want it to be posted.